Greetings and welcome to an update on the incinerate sorceress. Can I pet this dog, by the way? Greetings. I thought I could. Hello. Anyways, update on the incinerate sorceress. Uh, maybe you watched my previous video. Maybe you did not. Uh, again, the build will be in the description below. Also, link to the previous video. I'm not gonna go into all the details. Just just the changes that I made. I'm using Soulbrand now to get the barrier. Uh, I have uh, Mage Lord, uh, sorry, <laughs> I have Arkhan Helm, like we have Mage Lord's Arkhan as a legendary aspect now. This is the major uh, um, change here on previous video, previous uh, like build variation and also the Flame Scar that I'm now using and trying out. So uh, for the Arkhan we are using Verse Mastery because it gives us a huge bonus to uh, closed damage reduction. Um, the increased damage to shock skills, of course, doesn't do anything to us, but we get 20% less damage from close enemies. And if we critical strike, we get uh, it, it uh, increases to 25%. And critical strikes come from Flame Scar. Critical strikes can come from the uh, incinerator, uh, sorry, from these embers that shoot out. Uh, so this pr happens uh, fairly often, so I would say this is. Um, always up but we need to monitor it closely and then the aspect itself gives us uh, up to 26.4 or if it's max 27 percent damage reduction from close enemies again so we have 27 and 25 we have like 52 percent less damage from close enemies that's like huge and it's worthwhile the uh, damage that we lose from combustion which is you know it's like 20 percent plus like i don't know maybe six or something depending on like the um exact enchantments that we use so other than that um i also use now fireball enchantment because i have a lot of luck here chance on my flames i have plus 10 to incinerate here i have plus 5 to incinerate on my gauntlets so overall we have a level 20 incinerate which kind of makes up for the loss of uh damage that we would have with a two-hand staff but more testing needs to be done because the base damage of incinerate is so much higher and i think not much else has changed. I'm, I'm, I'm going away from the dodge fortify uh, solution, although I would love to somehow incorporate it, but we are using Soulbrand, giving us another damage reduction from close and max draw right here. And um, yeah, I want to roll more damage to close enemies because it's higher than like fire damage. I have like fire damage on my rings. Cannot reroll them. They already are low or zero tempers right here. I also wanted to change the Inferno skill cooldown reduction to Lucky Hit Restore Resource because I have a little bit of a resource problem against bosses and I think this will make up for it. And yeah, as for the aspects, I was also toying around with the one that gives us uh, increased damage while standing still, uh, which triples if I stand still for 3 seconds. But I feel like this one is better because I, I almost always have a barrier and it gives me like flat 25% only missing out on five percent if i would stand still for three seconds we cannot stand still for a long time we can stand still for three four five seconds but also against the bosses we need to we need to dodge so this is way way better and then here in the uh, configuration of course a uh, flame throwers right here i think this is better i have to do i guess think about it but i think incinerate uh, the main spell to have like more damage from the amulet is, is really, really good uh, actually, I actually have too much armor. Oh, wow. This has a lot of armor. Um, anyways, uh, and then here we have more damage to immobilize stun of frozen because we are mobilizing very, very often. Uh, we also stun sometimes due to our lucky hit chances right here. And I think that's it for the changes that I made. Uh, I don't know if I had the same paragon right here. I got rid of Searing Heart and this whole uh, tree here, up here, because... Um, Searing Heart doesn't do much for us, and I want to get another Glyph going, so I have Exploit here right now, and I have the Control here. More damage to Crowd Control and increased damage to uh, Stunt or Frozen, which happens in okay amount of time. Still need to die around. That's like the best way to do things. So yeah, with that being said, let's showcase it in the pit. Uh, I believe I just beat that tier 46 or something, but let's do 45. And uh, yeah, we 
I still want to toy around how to get more defensive skills or more cooldown reduction because uh, I'm using my defensive skills uh, fairly often just to be on the safe side. <clears throat> so this is something I need to still toy around with. But basically, you know, you play through your defensive skills and also Inferno is very nice. You can see, like, damage-wise, like, we're not, like, one-shotting stuff. We, we did lose some damage, but we are um, surviving very, very well, despite being, like, right in the face of everything. Of course, we have some freezes, and then, again, I want to get more rolls on Lucky Hit Chance to stun or to freeze, so that uh, the enemies cannot hurt us. Uh, I'm also thinking of the oops, the aspect that dazes on lucky hit. I feel like that could be nice. Daze means they cannot attack. That was pro control. I'm not ready. Um, but I would swap out, I would need to swap out something like the one that gives me lucky hit while having a barrier and there's a lot of lucky hit. Not sure how, sure how, com how it computes, but you can see like immobilized pops up Fairly often, uh, sometimes we crit, again that's our flame scar, uh, doesn't happen too often, but every now and then, which is enough, uh, because then Veer's Master, Veer's key passive will uh, give us 25% reduced damage from close for 3 seconds. And yeah, keep potions up, or uh, like barrier, always chuck like a potion every few seconds to get like a berry there's enough potions dropping normally i hate these monsters they always stun me but you can see even then uh we are doing pretty pretty well i would say yeah i would appreciate them um, in the comment section below if you have some some tips some ideas on how to further improve i, I, I will test a few more things and I feel pretty confident right now to release this update since I think it is it is becoming uh, stronger and I changed some things around but of course also my gear got a little bit stronger I think the swap swap the key passive uh, like survivability is really really the key here in the pits I mean you get one shot ever so often if you're not careful it's pretty annoying we need a lot of damage reduction and possibly max life, so this is something I can still invest more in. Because max life also gives us more barrier through our, uh, I think it's man shield. Which is a barrier based on the max life. I don't know if uh, ice barrier is also based on max life. Let's see. Wait. Of your base life, so not max life. That's disappointing. Let's see, we can take it. For now, I mean, it scales pretty crazy. Also, I'm not super lucky with, uh, super happy with um, Firewall. Lucky hit chance to cast Firewall, but I really. Oh, by the way, I need some potion. I most often use the lucky hit one. I know that holy bolts is very very strong but I try to live without it. So I'm trying to get more lucky hit chance. Of course the attack speed doesn't do anything for us. So I'm not really um not really happy with fireball enchantment but like in bosses I think it's it's very very effective. I could die here if I'm not careful. You can see the stagger goes up fairly okay, it could be better. But then it's staggered, like you see we do like almost, yeah, we, I saw 4 million right here, so that's good. So I'm also missing still the Temper Manual Worldly Forgen Legendary, which gives me a higher chance on Lucky Hit to like stun or freeze or something. Boom, there you go. Tier 45. So I'm confident I can clear tier 50 with this. And then we need to see. Um, I need to be careful about the bosses and then dodge more stuff. 
because right now I'm just standing and stuff. Um, I haven't been one shot since I made the transition to a virus uh, mastery key passive. So yeah, there you go. This is the update to Inzerpid. I hope you like this video. If you did, give it a like and consider subscribing so I know the, to output more videos like this in the future. Until then, good luck, have fun, and goodbye.